I think I even sent John a message. I'm like, hey, video got taken down. Because <laughs> I'm the only person that watches this. <laughs> I mean, everybody watches this. <laughs> hey, we got like 20 views. We watch it like 30 times. So. I might have just completely fucked up all the sound, so I don't Did know because I don't because I'm always trying to figure out where that sound. Yeah, like, no. Where are where? Because I have it on <laughs> it's here. It's Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> but I just don't know where I'm getting, like where I can adjust the sound and so we can hear the, the intro music louder. Oh yeah, it's been going on for a while. Yeah, this has been an ongoing thing. It's been like, have you ever seen the <laughs> like movie Ice? I'm, I'm sorry. like that squirrel <laughs> that's trying to get that nut. Ice? Ice Age? <laughs> ice. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like a drug movie for a second. And, you're like, and then you're just like that squirrel. Like, you mean Ice Age? <laughs> I, I, have we started now? <laughs> yes, yeah, so we yeah. started. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey, how's it going? We don't do the dumb little wait for me to intro you things yeah. anymore that's stupid that's uh, dumb yeah. everybody that's already a, knows a big what, old... who i am from episode 40 <laughs> uh. we're not doing 100 minute episodes anymore 200 minute episodes anymore right uh so <laughs> we have plenty of we, you know fuck you so we're here. Brandon. <laughs> hey what's up hey what's so we're on? here on uh episode 93 i believe of yeah. the Beer and friendship show i don't know because i'm like i'm like doing one like three or four in a week like <laughs> yeah. now I'm like knocking them out like they're fucking nothing. But don't Damn. worry, Aaron. They're going to be on 100. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you mean he's not even invited to some of the podcasts? Well, because he's well, he's busy. He has other things yeah. he's doing, and I'm I'm doing it because I have all this equipment. I have to practice. You gotta use so, it. So when Aaron is on, those are good. Yeah. Those uh-huh. are the most important ones. And we're like we have Aaron and I, then I guess like you, Brandon. Like hey. this is going to be a more important one than my like sports companion one. About like week two of the NFL, like I yeah, nobody gives a that. shit about yeah. that. Did you? I'm, Episode one. I don't have a whole lot of things to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Brandon's our number one fan. Thank you, Brandon. The BB I do gun. like every video. Which I try to. I Thank sometimes you. miss one. Thank you. Hey, you know what? And that's I, all we ask. <laughs> I don't think I've watched one since I stopped drinking, <laughs> <laughs> like almost three months ago. Oh no. <laughs> you know. Oh well, <laughs> it's a lie. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so we're here, and uh, we're we're excited. We have a guest. We got a guest. We did. We, we haven't we did had it. a guest in a while. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I know. It's just because you know we've been just doing all these, you know, test runs and all this stuff with all this new equipment, and so like sounds have been kind of okay. Sound has been shitty. Sound like we video's don't been know shitty. where our music like, is. We don't know where the music is. It's we have a lot of things going on. I can Brandon. see that. Mostly John. Mostly um, me. I'm just kind of hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Let him fine. spend all the yeah. money and like work yeah. all the. Yeah, John yeah. wants to. If he can I, edit it. I'm not going to break anything of John's yeah. and accidentally trying to fix it, you know? Yeah. I Can't do it. that. Can't do it. 
So, Brandon, how are you doing? I'm doing great, John. Awesome. Doing That's good. good to hear, yeah. man. I haven't seen you in a quick fucking minute, man. Yeah, it's been like a year, year it's and been, a half. Has it been a year since? The, is the last time I saw you was the podcast? It, was it episode, can't be. That. Yeah, it yeah. Is. Episode. So that was episode forty. So and we're on episode ninety. So like almost 90 exactly now. a year, probably. Yeah. yeah. God damn it, Brandon! What the fuck, man? <laughs> well, uh, we all graduated, and then I just kind of and you became you now you ride trains, <laughs> yeah, you drive trains. It, yeah, I just well, I, I conduct trains. Yeah. You're a conductor. I am a conductor. So do you travel a lot? Nope. Uh, we work for a small yard. We're contractors for the railroad. Okay. So my company works for Nor- uh, uh, now. I'm drawing a blank. Kansas City Southern uh, Are you Railway. lying to us, Brandon? I am not going to lie. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> He's written the whole Wikipedia article on the side of his hand. But yeah, we work for He's Kansas lying. City Southern. That's why his Railway. arms cur- curve like this, so he can just read it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this trick never <laughs> fails. <laughs> uh, the trains are on a track. <laughs> if they go off the track, it's a bad thing. It is a very Con- bad thing. Conductor. <laughs> conductor. <laughs> Con- conductor. <laughs> Con- the door. Not to do with electricity. <laughs> That's like a special thing. Yeah. Not an electric. We wear thing. rubber suits. <laughs> yeah. No. On the train. On the train. No, instead I just stand in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> just hoping that uh, of the night. <laughs> you, sound, you sound like a song. Yeah. It's like your yeah. life's a song. You're now. like a Bob Seger song. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty much. A little too tall. Could have used a few pounds. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, Bob Seger. Yeah, sure. Sob Beager. <laughs> no, I, uh, it's, a, it's a good job, man. I just ride around on trains Good for you, man. Stuff. That's awesome. Connect trains. And then, so do you still live in the same house that you were in last time I saw you? Or, uh, actually, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we haven't moved. We haven't moved yet? Yeah, we still live in Because I knew KCK. you were in the house that had the flooded basement. Yeah, that was the last one. And then you guys moved into another house that's like right up the street or like yeah, it's a block a or two away. away. Yeah. Right. It's a lot better. A lot nice. Yeah, no water. No, no water. water. Anyway. There's no water at that one? Yeah, I haven't seen my landlord since I moved into the place. It's Are you great. serious? Yeah. <laughs> they just don't come by. <laughs> Do you pay your rent? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> saying, if I didn't see anybody of like authority, I wouldn't do anything for them. <laughs> like, I had to wait for their call and be like, oh, yeah, my bad. Totally forgot. I was not a fucking squatter here. She did forget to uh, take out a rent check one time. Yeah. And we had sent them, but she forgot to take them out. So we figured... All right, so we sent in the checks, whatever, and like six months goes by, nothing, nobody telling us anything, (laughs) and then all of a sudden I finally get a note in the mail, and it's like, hey, I didn't get last October's rent, I'm like, shit, I'm going to come up with two months rent, I spent all that money. (laughs) This is a weird time to do your books, you creep. (laughs) Stop talking about October. (laughs) Shit. It's summer. Last year. (laughs) Fucking baseball season, and that's what's more important right now. (laughs) Exactly. Asshole. Baseball. Don't let this shirt fool you. I don't watch you don't sports. Watch, you don't watch. No, yeah, I, don't watch sports. every now and then I go out to the bar and the Royals are on and I get really excited because I like watching them. Yeah. I just do not watch it you in just my free time. You just follow it because I don't give a fuck. I exactly. Just, I just don't care. <laughs> mm-hmm. I Good for you. I don't care. Yeah. I, well, I wish I knew what that was like, just like not caring about baseball. I no. can't do it. Do you, do you know what it's like to not care? Vaguely, yeah. I'm <laughs> just, familiar. Just apply that to every facet Since of your life, and yeah. it's just easy. It's <laughs> I mean, I don't care about anything yeah. at all. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm getting there, I think, slowly but surely. How how does it feel? How does that feel? Um, It feels great. It's like a zen it's, moment, it's, like it, your whole life. Well, I mean, I used to, when I was in high school, I was always, like, my parents enforced good grades and yeah. good behavior and i was the good kid all the I, time did your parents like like most hawaiian parents <laughs> so you That's drive, stereotypical of I, I remember really nice parents i remember when you, when I'm we were in most. school and you would dress in the same thing over and over right yep. did your parents make you do that because they thought it was like a uniform school or did you just like <laughs> negative no my 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 <laughs> mom the uniform is sweet ass but half button up black t-shirts <laughs> yep. and some motherfucking shorts black. also long hair <laughs> <laughs> longest hair in long school hair. the long hair was something my mom wanted like she wanted us to yeah. grow out our hair and then we just kind of liked it and now as you can see it is completely gone mm. yeah it uh you get tired it. after a while huh yeah. a lot of hair hair's a bummer <laughs> it hair kind of sucks like it's just it's useless <laughs> a little bit hair is the most useless thing well, on your you body my hair no it's rough you're just wearing a holy shit oh, oh my god <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, baby? I'm going to hide my erection up? here real quick. Oh, my Jesus God. Jesus Christ. I'll poke What's a up? hole through the thing. What's up? That is never seen honestly, it's hair. terrifying. It's terrifying. Do you do the man bun? <laughs> he does, yeah. All right, guys, it's been a great podcast. <laughs> see, you. see you on a train. <laughs> I wanted to be like you, Brandon. You wanted to be like me. I was trying to I be like you. From you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's okay. I dig yeah. it. It's all good, man. You're right in the middle. State. If you had that hair, yeah, I'm, in that, I'm, in, I'm in that weird state. Yeah, that that's weird. why you got to wear the hat. Mm-hmm. If you had that kind a of lot, hair, I wear a hat a lot. Yeah. If you had that kind of hair, and your parents were looking for a kid to adopt, they wouldn't have adopted you. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, let's leave this one in Honduras. What kind of fucking hair is that? <laughs> we'll make some other kids Man. like. Man, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll help someone else. <laughs> yeah, he'll we'll be just... working in a sweatshop in a week. <laughs> I don't know if they have sweatshops in Honduras. I, don't, I don't really don't know anything Every about shop's Honduras. a sweatshop when it's super hot, guys. It's a hard <laughs> place to live. Yeah, come on, man. Mm. Come on, man. They played soccer man, there. I don't what know. are you doing, man? I don't know nothing about Honduras. Other than I don't you. think you really need to. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's place. It's a small country. <laughs> it's a country. It, is. Uh, it exists. and yeah. On both sides of the ocean, mm-hmm. which is an interesting little fact, hmm. I think. Is that a fact? Yeah, but you Pretty can say sure about the United States. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. You can't like. Yeah, but you can't like drive. You can say that about him. Most of you can't. No, you can't drive. Right, you yeah. can't drive <laughs> to both ends in like three hours. That's kind of the right, the yeah. mystique of it. It's like you can see this shit both at the same like in a morning. Mm-hmm. True. Okay. I wouldn't want to. Then I'd have to go to Honduras, and that's a lot for me. I can't. Man. <laughs> I don't think you could, yeah, just see see I, w- I would love to fly with you. I would love to fly you with you. You know how right? exciting it is to fly with me? How? Uh it's not exciting at you all. You just take a Benadryl and go to sleep or something. I like listen you. to my phone. I write try to write jokes. Other than that, the writing joke shit doesn't work because I can't write a plain joke. I'm gonna suck at writing jokes anyway. Uh I disagree. Well me too, but you know, like for for like a on a plane. No, it's hard. You just write a bunch of hacky, shitty plane jokes. Yeah, you just write. There's uh, nothing. There's nothing that hasn't been said about a plane. What about the airplane? Airplane food? Like you can write a joke about that. <laughs> like, what's the deal with airplane food? What? <laughs> yeah, I know. Brandon, where you been? Uh, I'm sorry. This past three and a half people? years. I've been where an they underground. Go? <laughs> <laughs> I've been an underground comedian. You know, <laughs> under the underground. Yeah. Literally, I, I dig holes and then I do my jokes <laughs> in communities that uh, also dig holes. Comedy mole. Oh, God. Comedial. Ah, damn it. I can't even fucking. I'm a mole. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you get the black shirt, right? <laughs> are, you, are you saying moles are black? Are they? They're brown. No, They're enough. kind of like a grayish color, too. Close enough. You know, John, when you suggested uh, um, starting this podcast two years ago, and I, like, for any reason, the thought popped in my head where on episode 93, we would talk about uh, the colors of moles. (laughs) I would say, John, that's a nice idea, but I don't want to take you up on it. Let's not do a podcast. <laughs> what was his pitch to you? Like, what was the uh, what was the thing that made you want to fuck out? It's like, like, hey, Aaron. I mean, I, we were hanging out anyway in his house, just drinking mm-hmm. every now and then. And then he's like, "Hey, I got some stuff," and I was like, "I'm funny." Yeah, and then <laughs> hey, I'll, pretty much I bribed him. I was like, "Hey, Aaron," mix. I was like, "If you just come over, I'll feed you, and I will <laughs> oh, yeah. give you beer." Yeah, all you have to do is just be funny. Like yeah. I will say, I'll give you like bullet points huh. to talk about, and then we'll just shoot shit. You did get beer. Yeah. And you, that was when you worked at that uh, fucking paleo paleo shit. stuff. Funny thing, I actually, I ran food. into someone that I used to work that like work that like, gets food there. Yeah, and I'm like, oh yeah, I used to work there. Like, how do you feel about it? I'm like. It's cool. <laughs> I was gonna say, John, think about the future recommendations you might get. You don't want to burn those bridges here. Oh, not on YouTube. So, paleo place. What was that? Um, I, <clears throat> I was a dish, I was a distribution coordinator for a like health food paleo place. Oh, okay. They made like pre-made meals, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like snacks, shakes, uh, drinks, like juice drinks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And my it's job like was a- basically just. I had a group of like ninety people underneath me who 
there they would be the packagers and so like and then i would my job would get them out on trucks and get it shipped out to the different states that we were trying to you know that had orders to it's like a meals on wheels for the young people jealous of the old people getting those meals on wheels exactly pretty much it's like i'm not at all disabled but i'd like somebody <laughs> to still send me food and i don't want to move i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna, gonna eat healthy but well, god forbid i stand up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> from working out wrong <laughs> <laughs> crossfit more like <laughs> fucking wrong <laughs> fit <laughs> Wrong, Jinx. guys. We're we're getting up, but the, <laughs> the Joe Hill is a is a tough climb. But we're gonna get there tonight. I think. Yeah, I think so. You sound really hollow when you talk when you talk with them when the cups. Does it out. sound cool? It sounds different. Do it again. Start talking. Start talking. See? Oh, I can hear it. Oh, this is awesome. Can we just do this? No. I need a... No. <laughs> well, so I'm doing it, John. <laughs> you could just do a brain impression. Why would you shoot a man without throwing him out of a plane? <laughs> <laughs> you would think the darkness is your ally. <laughs> Why would you shoot a man before you know? I just realized. Plain, what? So I just realized <laughs> I did, I forgot to take the sound, like the timer, yeah. off of like meters or like me, like you know uh, measures. Yeah. And in, instead of putting it on time, so <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Are we four four? <laughs> no, we're like three three seven. That's some crazy time to, time be, measures. So like it's gonna be a, just a like, kind of a guess. On <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, okay, let me so, see. Okay, so it's a new software, guys. So um, just in case you guys are wondering how you can hear out of both ears now, hopefully, yeah, it's because we got a brand new software system. Uh, the old software was a piece of shit, and I had Garage to Band. Well, Garage Band did us well for like a year and some change. It did what she did what she Fucking, needed to do, yeah. and she provided us content, and she provided a very good source of content. But so now we had to upgrade because we have an M Audio Box and Mario. these really we have really good microphones. And with GarageBand, I can only record two people's voices, and I would not we wouldn't be able to pick up your voice. Mm. And so I had to upgrade. And so then, we'd have to do a duet. Yeah, on the one got, microphone, okay, yeah. pretty much, should be pretty hot. Did we have to do that at the last podcast? Well, the last podcast was just literally one, like the one mic, the, yeah, oh, the big yeah. one. I see the yep. ghetto at Yeti. God the bless Getty. her soul. Yeah, the Getty. She did her job too. What happened? God, I love her so much. I love. <laughs> still have it. Oh, we I shot, shot her. Yeah. To death. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right well, here, or where you stand. Well, eventually, one day, she, one day, she will like sit up here, like in a crystal box, like just <laughs> retired in our Hall of Fame. Yeah. The Beer and Friendship Hall of Fame. Yeah, the Hall of Fame will just be like up in here, like where the Seinfeld shit is. <laughs> you know they sell those at like Hobby Lobby. You Shut just, up. <laughs> you can just put it in there now. <laughs> you don't have to wait for somebody That'll to award you it. That can be your gift to us for letting you be on the podcast. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I <laughs> Two times. <laughs> Two times. Most you, people only get one. You, 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 uh, you've advanced so quickly that you are on here alone. Yeah, I know. And you guys trusted me. It took enough. you a year, but we that's to be able to riff enough. Yeah, we trust you that you're going to be funny enough. So if you're not funny, you probably just won't ever be. And on I can't yet. carry. Yeah. I can't write this ship because I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. Yeah. Hell, I'll just start talking hell, about. Dude, I make a list of shit I want to talk about. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking. I don't know what I'm doing half no. the time. So like, so what am I supposed to do? Like, was I supposed to bring my own list? Yeah, that was the oh, whole joke. Um, that was the whole thing. Yeah, what do you got? Yeah, what do you have? Do you have any paperwork? <laughs> Here's where I pull out a comedically long list. <laughs> <laughs> a scroll. <laughs> well, I He's like, AIDS, kind of cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> All it is is one of those, like... That was a fucked up idea. Uh, like, it's like one of those clown handkerchiefs, and but on every handkerchief it just says "keep pulling." <laughs> keep pulling. Like that's your only list. Hey, like, when's it gonna end? <laughs> that's the one joke I got. Sorry, <laughs> but it lasts forever. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's the power of repetition. Yeah. Repetition's hilarious because it makes you go insane. <laughs> so you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah. You live with a girl? Uh, I live with a girl for about three years now. Oh, we, man. So we've been together how'd years. you do it? How, yeah. How are, you, how are you doing it? Um, I made it a, she I has, made it not well, even a year. year. You know what? You're a man I'm who's good. been able to live with that species. Mm-mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I couldn't even make it eight oh, wait, months. You think it's bad for me that a woman lives in the house? Is that what the What does she think of you? Yeah. Well, she just has really low standards. And all. Like, she, <laughs> you didn't have to say that, buddy. Well, we know. She, she, yeah. 
knew that. <laughs> knew that. <laughs> I was just like, hey, you want to go out sometime? She said yes. That's, uh, that's about the it. first time that's ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know I just asked you on a date. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's let's go ahead and get that out there. Like, you know, we're just going to be friends, right? No, we're going on a date. Oh, I don't do know. I need to go get drunk or something? Do I, <laughs> do I celebrate? I don't understand. And three years later, here we go. Can I have a cheat meal? Like, um, is, it, is it a cheat meal? <laughs> no, it's funny, though. I, when I met her, like, me and her were in a lot better shape than we are now. So, like, it was understandable back then. Like, I was, like, you know, 200 pounds. I was getting pretty fit. I was mm-hmm. working out every single day. And now we've been together for so long, like, it's like, you want pizza tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to fucking cook her, dude. She's like, yeah, that that sounds great. We'll use the pizza box as the plate. Then we don't have to do That's anything. That's why they give you the box. <laughs> yeah. What do you... What, like, just you think the box, is, it. the box is so durable. Yeah. So you can put food on it forever. Yeah. Forever. Then At you least. just toss it all away and you don't have to do anything. <laughs> if, you could, if you could... Three clean. years later, <laughs> 80 pounds <laughs> Hey, it could be worse, man. Yeah, yeah, it could yeah. be worse. Oh, I'm still banging. You know, huh? I'm still You're good. still banging. You're hitting it hard, dude. Mm-hmm. You're hitting that spot. Hitting that spot. Well, I don't know about that, but, you know. Put the thing down, flip it, then reverse it. Wrong front, what the fuck? See, that's another one of those songs, but everybody does it because she doesn't say anything. They're, sure. I think it's not about what she sang. It's about what she sang it in, which was a trash bag. Was she? In that video? Did you guys ever see that video? Yeah, I saw that video in 1993. Yeah, it's old video. Old old school. Old school. school. That was some, uh, that was some, uh, some stuff. God. Some banging music. Can we just take a moment and just like appreciate the sound of the microphones real quick? I don't think if we take a moment of silence for sound, <laughs> taking a moment of silence for sound is really just kind of like shoving it in their face. Like, we don't fucking need you, sound. <laughs> we can be quiet. Right? That's how you know an audio nerd is like, listen to how you can't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Years of static, and now you can't hear anything. <laughs> Perfect. That's what John was like when we started doing the podcast, because uh, he'd unplug all this shit. I still do, fucking yeah. stuff. Do you still stuff shit in the air conditioning? Yeah, I still. And then you put the thing on. He's like, "Do you hear that?" I'm like, I mean, "Not really." He's like, good. <laughs> Perfect. Like, you were insane. <laughs> this is a lot for me to handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you just get. I think the reason why he has to go out and pace. Is this a weather report? Yes. Anybody ever know? Is there something to. I'm going to sound really fucking stupid right now. <laughs> you guys, when you're watching the news, right? The weather's always going to the right. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the fucking deal <laughs> with the weather? Dance around, weather, do something different. Why you just. Is that the rotation of the earth, I'm guessing? <laughs> no. Is that how weather works? <laughs> I don't know which way. To, I don't know any of this stuff. What way does the world turn? Yeah, which way? I mean, it's gotta, it's gotta go west, right? Guess, or maybe east. just Google. Just Google why does weather always go right? This is gonna be like the dumbest question ever. <laughs> why does my, my cat, cat lick, lick me? me? <laughs> <laughs> Where does the cat lick you? Right. West. Yeah. Okay. That's the. That's a better way to say it. <laughs> Middle latitudes, the prevailing winds are from the west, and weather systems are embedded within those winds. Okay. In the tropics, though, weather systems tend to move from east to west. So down south, like say in the Amazon, that's the tropics, right? Maybe that's just a jungle rainforest. Yeah, I don't know. Is rainforest tropical? Guys, we're trying to figure out a lot about (laughs) There you go. Yeah, Yeah, so it's going east to west. I remember that from fourth grade. Damn. What was that, Earth City? Earth, Earth, oh, Earth, Earth, Earth City with the worms and everyone was like, oh my god, they got worms. They got worms down here in a, in a wall. In a wall. Worms was in that wall. the one down by uh, Worlds of Fun? It's in a fucking tunnel. I think it was, yeah. by, I think it was by Jaggers. Remember Jaggers, oh, the paint Yeah, place? down like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, in like, is that North Kansas City? Oh my yeah, god, North no, Kansas City. Okay. The, was that down, I Where? thought that was on the flats. Or not the flats, but the... Bottoms? Bottoms, but like the Casey Bottoms. Mm, I think it's in a weird spot. Like, it's somewhere, it's like seven miles it's outside of Liberty, which I oh, just saw yeah. today because I was in Liberty. It's like for Excelsior. Why are, you, yeah. why are we in Liberty? Uh, I was at a pumpkin patch. You taking, you, taking, you I was. We were taking photos for uh, um, a show that we're going to be putting on. Who uh, took the pictures? Uh, Joe Nunnick's friend. Remember Joe? He's done the show a couple mm-hmm. times. Remember Joe and Dan? Yeah. He's opening a bar. 
No in way. Kansas City, Kansas, and we're going to be doing shows there. No way. No shit. Right well, hell, I need to talk to him. If you need to, I was going to talk to you about it and see if you wanted to like do this recording and shit. Yeah, we don't have yeah. we don't have any uh, like equipment yet, though. Dude, that'd be awesome. That'd like, be sound perfect. Stuff. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. I'd love to do that shit. You know that, like, yeah. Thanks for like introducing me to Rich too. By the way, yeah, Richard, because he's no he one he's a great guy and he's Richard's, pretty fucking he's funny. A, he's, he's, he's he's fucking killed the other night. Now. He's pretty good. And um, I like Richard. Yeah, and he's just a really. Really nice. Guy. Oh yeah, what are you doing Great Thursday? Uh, what are you doing probably, Thursday? Probably what I'm probably recording something for you. Yeah. Okay. I'm what are working. you doing Thursday? I'm working. How late? Uh, six p.m. to six a.m. How about you get off early? I Maybe go in late. Well, you know, and just like come out to the show. Yeah, you know, to... I would love to. Right now, I'm working sixty hours a week though. So, Man. dear Jesus, even I'm like that's too much. Thanks for finding time. Yeah, oh, no. Jesus I Christ. Mean, I get weekends off, <laughs> yeah. so I just I, work I do, five I do coke. Week. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drink. I drink my coke. No, just a lot of pre workout, and I do. Some you really? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I got some of the old shit too. Like I saved up. And they, I'll no explosion now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that Jack stuff that gave people heart attacks. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> just, you know, a stack or two. Well, yesterday, uh, I just find time weird times to sleep. But uh, yesterday, we went out to eat with a friend, and then we uh, went to an estate sale. And my girlfriend loves estate sales. She just likes buying a whole bunch of shit mm-hmm. and then storing it in our house. Where else are you going to put it? It's a problem we have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's not open up that can of worms so so <laughs> without her here. <laughs> exactly. No, she is technically here with us in spirit. No, oh, oh, I'm she's, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. What happened? <laughs> oh, no. Why didn't you tell a sewer, Brandon? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't. God damn! There have been so much things I wouldn't been doing. She just, she just. I would have took the lights what, down, dude. No, we, don't, we all know lights she, attract girlfriends. You know, she bitch. left such a hole in my heart. Now I just have her waiting out in the car. Uh, <laughs> now <laughs> sleep. <laughs> you do She's like, actually just right off screen on the futon. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we go to this estate sale, and I give, I get fucking bored. And yeah. I'm also pretty tired because I've been up for you're working probably here. 16 hours at this point. You know, like, riding trains. You, exactly. Yeah. And then I get off work and then I have to hang out with the girlfriend because it's the only time. Yeah. Only time we get. So I'm out at this Fucking estate sale me. and I'm like, all right, I'm going. I'm going to the car. I'm just gonna like chill in there because I'm tired of standing and moving and stuff. So you let me know when you're done. It's like you're gonna be quick, right? She's like, sure. And so I go in into the car and I pass out in the middle <laughs> of the fucking car. Like, car's on, AC is on, and I'm just like, out. And there's people all over the place just uh, walking by my car. And I'm just like, uh. <laughs> like 30 minutes later, she comes knocking on the window, scares the living shit out of me. I'm just like, ah! what's going on? What's going on? Who's knocking on my window? And she, uh, she's just like, hey, did you take a nap? And I like got drool down the side of my face. I'm like, uh, yeah, no. I kind of just fall asleep at random spots. <laughs> I fell asleep in Target one time, like leaning up against a shopping cart. The, like I'm like feel myself like getting tired, and then I see her, and she's like looking through scrapbooks or some bullshit. And uh, and I'm like leaning on the shopping cart, and the next thing I do is I open my eyes. I'm like two feet from the fucking ground. Yeah. Just, bam! Right in the just face first into the concrete, and I was like, oh man. She's like, did you just fall asleep? I'm like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what I took a twist I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yep. That's my life. So that's how I just keep going, is I just keep falling asleep. Don't be surprised if my head just fucking slams against this table in a couple minutes. <laughs> I seriously don't, sleep like maybe four hours. That'd be the best episode, though, is if you just passed out. I've become a, a, a narcoleptic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You're the first narcoleptic on the show. That's pretty cool. We're cross that off the list. Right, that's done. <laughs> uh, first Hawaiian, unless John's something he doesn't know. Um, uh, I don't. I think that's like the one thing I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. Well, now we know that. Well, everybody thought my mom was your mom for a long time. <laughs> oh God, that was that was the funniest thing. Yeah, and like, oh, but not that you two were kid. brothers. She's like holding on to my hand, and they're like, "Don't forget your kid." And it's like, well, who's the little blonde kid that you stole? And it's like well, Weston is so unassuming. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. I think that was on the way to Earth City too. 
Are we picking out like a city, city? Or, okay. Oh, do you want to do that? If you want, I think I'll try New York City. I think okay. it, it, it's probably just flooded with dog shit, but I think it we could. Where, run where in New York? Something uh, like New York, New York. Yeah, the city. Yeah, the main one. Man, which one? Uh, let's just do men seeking women. Let's do the the normal one. Not like normal. It's like women, that is sense, women seeking men like empty. I've never been. In it, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I love, it I love is. how the first like Asian woman wanted sub female. What did she do? Asian woman. Did she kill somebody. It, probably. Hit, she has a hit out for. Her. Oh, screeny screen thing. Come on, television. We need you, baby. There it is. It's New. like a weak connection on this cord. Oh, we go down to that one. Body rubs. Mm. Body rubs. Uh, New York City. We're switching shit up today. Okay. Going out of state. We're going out. Four, four um, point friendly bitches. So I'm <laughs> offering a sensual body rub. Sounds nice, don't you think? Nope. We could trade. For what? I have good hands. Oh my god, and I hope you do too. I'm a nice clean cut guy with a sense of sensuality. That's re- I'd like to share. 420 friendly, but I don't. I also have plenty of alcoholic beverages, especially hard stuff, because I'm an alcoholic. You do like hard stuff, don't you? Ugh, what? That's a gross last sentence. <laughs> you like hard stuff, right? <laughs> Yo, cr- <laughs> I love how it was, it was supposed to be like an end to window, like a, yeah. like a double entendre. Yeah. Oh, that was but all. But it just looked really this disgusting. This just reeks of this guy typing each, this sh- this out with his boner. Right. <laughs> Body rubs. You I'd just like for somebody to like actually answer the ad, and then they get there, and he's like so nervous that somebody actually said it that he can't get hard, and he's just like, uh, uh, uh I got alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Jim Beam? The hard stuff. I wasn't in you and doing. I meant dude, there's. Yeah, I like Jim to. Bean. I like to think that he's Trashy. actually like an aspiring masseuse, and mm. he just really wants. He's th- those are just tactics just, to get people just over. He's just too creepy. It's hard to get he a job in the city. It. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I just want to practice on people. <laughs> just That's what I want to do. I just want to. I just want to practice. Massages. Learn. Yeah. I just want to learn the human body. That's all. You I know, mean. if 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 things uh, work out, you know, and uh, we get to know each other, I could be your regular masseuse. I could be your hero, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <I'm too high. laughs> I know. Oh, this is good. Need a younger friend. Uh, friends with benefits. Okay. In the Bronx. In the Bronx. Uh, fit body. He's forty-five years old. Five eleven. Single. Um, this is me in the future. <laughs> You're in the Bronx. <laughs> yes. Well. I, I, are you a Ginny from the Bronx? I'm a Ginny from the Bronx. <laughs> from the the Bron James. <laughs> Anybody remember that? All right. <clears throat> uh, comment in the comments if you remember LeBron. All right. I can be a helpful friend. <laughs> <laughs> These new microphones got us silly. Because <laughs> we can hear ourselves roll. Our, just, we have our own individual sounds mm-hmm. now. We're just a few hens on a sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> Girls. <laughs> oh, I. I uh, this, oh, sorry. We we're at the pumpkin patch today, right? And they had a petting zoo. No. You ever seen rabbits at a petting zoo? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, were they the big ones or the small little Tiny ones? Tiny little regular rabbits. Oh, no, I haven't seen those. I've never seen a rabbit, like, lay down like a cat. Has anybody ever seen a rabbit that wasn't laying down like it was about to run away, mm. like, all the time? I'm pretty sure the rabbit was just dying. <laughs> <laughs> they just wouldn't take care of it. Like, there was, a, there was a goat across from the rabbit. It was a weird cage uh, farm uh, or barn. And it was, Dang. like, the cages were, like, this. White people. Were like this they were, like, this wide, right? <laughs> And this one goat would just like fucking walk through it and then be free. And then as soon as it saw somebody walking towards him, he would just like, ah, and he'd just scurry back in. I'm like, dude, this is your pumpkin patch. Run away, <laughs> fucking dude. Come on, man. But they got it nice there. They get fed seeds all the time uh, by weird. Do you we put were... a quarter into a box? Do you put a quarter in one of those? Like... I don't know. I, they, they, just, they give you a bag <laughs> of seeds. Get the little turds that you feed them. <laughs> it's funny. There was a round pen with a bunch of goats, right? Right. 
and they had a dispenser thing for for hand sanitizer and it was empty i was like so we get to feed hand sanitizer to the goats this is weird they're gonna die they're not gonna like this at all <laughs> it was really strange and it was completely empty so i'm pretty Just sure it's somebody... this out of my hand <laughs> lick this so clean your insides <laughs> clean them <laughs> It was a very strange thing we did this morning at the pumpkin patch. Uh, I can be a helpful friend. I know times are tough. Speak for yourself, you fuck. If you have a job and trying to get ahead, it's a weird one. We haven't ever seen this one with the comma. The like, comma. This guy's a this guy's a loose cannon with his uh, whole uh, his whole punctuation punctuation because that that question mark doesn't have a space after it at all. Yeah. I don't think this guy's just confused personally. <laughs> If you have a job and trying to get ahead, that's not a question. Email me with blue in the subject line to weed out spam. What if the spam is just a guy yelling blue? <laughs> He's going to be like, fucking, there's one of them. There he is. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get him out. That's my FWB. I enjoy helping someone local or close by, which is the exact same as local. You must be open-minded. I'm a white older male looking for a nice lady. I can host! <laughs> We'll be discreet if you are married, but that's okay. You only slightly. What the, the fuck up. is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, from the Necronomicon. <laughs> if you repeat it, Satan rises from hell. And yeah. <laughs> this is, that means Baphomet <laughs> in Latin. Not. Oh, I think. <laughs> do not contact me. He wrote his own. Do not contact me with unsolicited. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Because it puts it in there automatically. Yeah. So he actually took the time to write it out. <laughs> but he did it wrong. What's this shit? A euro. I just like <laughs> Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> I just like how he's a forty-five-year-old single white male, and he's like, I know times are tough. It's like bullshit, dude. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that, that must be terrible for you, buddy. You're, You're just <laughs> looking for a fuck buddy in the Bronx. Like, it can't be that bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can still afford to live there. A single white man? Nobody ever gave you anything. <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't give it away, man. I've been coasting on this shit for a while. <laughs> we gotta be middle-aged. I'm getting know. by. Trust me. <laughs> we won't get the oh, white privilege till later in life. This is the best idea we've had to go to other weird cities. Because Kansas City, in you know comparison, is pretty, pretty normal. Pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty, normal. Pretty, pretty normal. You get the occasional bazooka's dick sucking in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's normal. You're gonna get any kind normal. of bazooka. Exactly. Like, I'm sure there's tons of New York. There's a million bazookas. bazookas in New York City. Exactly. We've been in New York. Yeah. Both of you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fuck not me to, then. Not, <laughs> not to bazookas. New York's I ain't left Kansas in fucking forever, <laughs> except to come to Missouri to do this goddamn podcast. Don't, don't leave. Don't do it at all. New York is... Yay! Beer. Thank you for my Beer. friend. Oh, well, this week's sponsor. We got one. Um, yeah, because... Yeah. Instead of Mother Earth with her tears of water, we got Bud Light. Can you hand me one of those co- uh, koozies? Oh, sure. Yeah, I, I this koozie should have been using or, one of those. The coaster? Yeah, coaster. Yeah. Some kind gonna, of heathen. Oh, you, okay. Did I tell you? Oh, you want to know the story Ooh. about this? I used to date this uh, Dominicana. Oh, shit. Uh, she had a boyfriend, and I used to sleep with her. Yeah. And, um, so were you dating? She was dating. She was, she was dating, dating, but not John. <laughs> I was dating. She was dating, um, but the, she yeah. was moving um, out of like one of her apartments into a house, and so she gave me a bunch of shit. And she's like, I thought this would be cool for your podcast. And I'm like, been using it since. Been using it since. <laughs> oh yeah, Did we've been you? using it since episode 41. So sorry, you probably haven't seen it. So but. yeah, no, 40. you didn't really get this, <laughs> did you? What this fortune? Did, did I what about it? Did you actually get this? Yeah. What did it say? You didn't print it you off. You will be unusually successful in an entertainment career. Yeah. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> You printed this off. No, I really <laughs> did get it. I got it the other Where's day. Where's the learn Chinese on the back? <laughs> yeah, just got some random numbers on it. This is bullshit. You went to a fake ass Chinese place. Maybe. Where'd you get that from? The, the bag. The bag of. They were like, "Oh, what? What? Pl- what is your dream? City. What do you want?" A to bag do? of fortune cookies at the Dollar General. 
Yep. Black attraction. <laughs> can you can just go, can you go to like a Dollar General and just get a bag of like the fortune cookies? Probably. Yeah. We can find I'm out. sure they can order you some. <laughs> like, those are my favorite. Like Walmart, Target, can't like. Sorry, that's actually way below our. That's a standards. special item. Yeah. So you have to go to like Dollar General. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite grocery stores. The ones you can go into and be like, "Hey, you don't have this," and like, "Well, fuck, we can order it for you if you want." Oh. Sharps will do that. Like I have, really, really, really. Sharps will order you fortune cookies, probably. <laughs> I have an address in Amazon. Like, why do I need yeah. to ship it to your place? I just, I'm just gonna have to pick it up from this place. Like, just I it was somebody, mostly for old people who didn't know what electricity was. I'll just have somebody send it to my goddamn fat ass. They think you know? their car is literally run by tiny horses in their engine. Wait, they're not. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> gonna say- I'm gonna have to leave right now. <laughs> Black Attraction, mm. Man for Woman, Westchester, mm. Connecticut. See, this confuses me already with my last name being Black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Man for Woman, looking for Brandon Black. Ooh. Mm. Looking for Brandon Black. Man for Woman. Nobody's black. What is that? MWM? What? Man for Woman. Man. <laughs> nope. Man with Man. Man with, with man. man with Man. 50. <laughs> I used to. Good looking. Nice build. Why is well hung two words, but good looking and nice build are both one word? Come on, buddy. Safe and sane. I have an insatiable desire to be with an attractive ebony female. This is John in like 20 fucking years. I'm seeking to meet. After the muscles leave. Yeah. It's age 50, so it's only about five years. Five years. (laughs) Legally. Yeah. Legally, though, like 20 something. (laughs) Who knows? Yeah, I told a girl, I went, I went on a date the other night, and I told this girl, I'm like, you know, like, I have just, like, a government birthday, I don't have a birth certificate, and she, like, looked at me, and was like... That's the scariest thing you can ever tell anybody, John. <laughs> really I have is. a birthday from the government. <laughs> like, and what my, are they trying to keep away from you? And my people are naturally good with machetes, so... <laughs> <laughs> you want to get my toy <laughs> They'll be fine. <laughs> I'm well hung and what I split nicely built. Safe, <laughs> safe and sane. That's uh, that's a one of the first things uh, you should notice in this ad that he's claiming to be safe and also sane. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at the same time, he's posting an ad on Craigslist. He's trying. In New that's York two City. things that are probably not. Safe Those are or that's sane. that's right. just all. Uh, whew, good luck, buddy. Mm. I'm seeking to meet a married or single black woman. For discreet like daytime black. pleasure. Black. 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 Mm. black. Licorice. Mm. For discreet daytime pleasure. I like. <laughs> what? Are yeah. we in fourth grade again? <laughs> <laughs> I like, comma. This guy's making up his own rules. He's wow. a fucking, he's a, sh- he's a wow. straight here, shooter, this guy. Here it comes. I like making out, giving oral, hugging. Touching. Ma- message. <laughs> <laughs> message. <laughs> Passion and more. Send this guy a letter and he's fucking sad. He's just like, hell yeah. <laughs> this is, okay. Please be available days. I think he meant please be available during the day or something. Four <laughs> days. Four days. <laughs> from Westchester or Lower Connecticut. And discreet. Married a plus. Hope to hear from you soon. We'll exchange emails first, photos, etc. Thanks, XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> That's the, this is maybe the this is terrifying. That guy is a fucking man. Oh Jesus Christ! Hey, oh, check hey. him out. Look at them well-rounded breasts. We almost had to. Let me read this the podcast. top of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we would never do that. Well, <laughs> alone, home, single, Puerto Rican at home. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where to find him. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's the title. You're at home in New York City? Fuck, I, oh. <laughs> I'll home be there in five. Puerto Rican. I'm a single guy, Puerto Rican, 34 years old, living alone in Far Rockaway. You need a good ma- massage? Massage? I am certified. I live alone in Queens, New York. Where do you live? I feel like New York's full of... I thought you lived certified. in Far Rockaway, not Queens. Six, four... He posted his uh, phone number uh, the way that you're, that old people think they're supposed to post their phone numbers because they think people that hacking computers or whatever spam bots can't read letters. They just think they can read numbers. <laughs> they can so, read the whole paragraph, but when it comes to the number with 
the like no they You've can't gotta, do that oh man oh man what's the asterisks mean i host dick he does host a dick i'm gonna guess <laughs> see he almost showed it off in those tommy hilfiger uh boxer shorts go to uh uh let's do it let's do some gay shit in new york okay man for man yeah Check some gay, let's do some gay <laughs> shit <in New York. laughs> oral cub for older that's fun where oral cub <laughs> what what is what? that <laughs> <laughs> is that, a, what is is that, that? A, is that a jellyfish on her face oh my god she must have she must have spilled some mayonnaise <laughs> Is that petroleum is, jelly? Is that like something to help your acne? What I want to know is why is this on Man for Man? Like now my boner is gone. Yeah, it looks like, like live tight. I'm looking for a guy. Like not what's this woman doing here? Yeah, why is she just like she just got bukkake? The creepy thing for me is this huge long strand like going fucking that's a face the width of a face <laughs> not to mention it's also creepy like they had to have a pretty good camera to be able to take it yeah, and, it's a very like, high res camera and there's no there's no blur to it at all like it, it had a lot of frames per second like, it's, it's it's a high quality photo of a woman with stuff a, all over her face a lot of fucking jizz <laughs> it's just jizz it's straight up semen ejaculate <laughs> That that bitch is it, Jackie Lit? No, uh, she's gonna boo, be a mom one day. Boo boo, she already is. <laughs> if she isn't, her face is right. Go. <laughs> yeah, let me read it. Is that how babies are born? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, uh, um, looking to host daddy types, bi or straight, acting preferred. To come over and unload, big loads preferred. Please write if you come a lot in your first reply. What if you don't? What if don't even like fucking rhythm? bother. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> this way I know you actually read the ad instead of auto-replying to everyone. I'm a blue-collar guy. Six foot, 220, white and Hispanic. Okay. Cute face, oral sub. I think you meant oral. Uh, I think you probably meant I think oral, oral subcontractor. Sub. Oh. Discreet and no picks. <laughs> 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 this guy is a uh, <laughs> traveling dentist. Dom guys are okay. So guys named Dominic. I got a couple. I think you meant Dom, Dom, Dominic. I, not Dominic. Yeah, that's what Dom John means. That's what it means. <laughs> I think dominant. Maybe dominant. That's what exactly. It's what it is. Exactly. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, right. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I was goofing. <laughs> I feel like I'm behind the <laughs> You're behind a lot, John. <laughs> I am good at submitting and allowing the facial to cover me if a dom guy tells me to stay still or holds my hair. So if you're trying to get guys, then why is there... I don't know. Maybe she is a girl. Or maybe maybe that is a girl. Well, because she's probably just posting... No, it is a guy because it's 6 foot 220. Maybe he's just showing what he can do. Like, imagine her face is yours. I want to meet the artist that made this because that is a very well photograph picture even though it is a lot of scenes like, I hope you're it's a sketch sure. three two one now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, perfect we got it, got it. post it on craigslist that'd be nuts if it was just like a paper mache model and that guy was just like really really good at it and it's in like a museum somewhere oh Nash. no it's at age 29 and he's 6 foot 220 like that's a motherfucking beast yeah that's a big ass man <laughs> he's a big boy for real, Viggle with a nice dick. Hand jobs needed. This is a lot. There's a, there's, I mean, oh, I could always a, use one too. Yeah, this like, is a poem. <laughs> hand job needed. Flushing. Asian guy here looking for a slow hand job. Slow tease my cock for a while till I lost control. You can stand behind me or stand in front. Prefer strong arm, beefy guy or muscular. Into guy in gym shorts, gym shirt, shorts, sneakers, baseball hat. Can travel or host. Please reply with your pick. That's a fucking. That's some. Uh, huh. That's, that's some Bukowski shit. That's a really interesting fetish. I just that. That's what kills me is that these people are so specific about what they want. Yeah. It's like I don't have any type of like you know. Do you have a vagina? Oh. Yes, please. <laughs> let me. <laughs> You're black. You have big butt. Perfect. All right. Let's yeah. Go. Let's get this done. <laughs> like, but like that. That like 
it comes down to like two or three things. It's like you boobs guy, you're a butt guy. What kind of race do you like? Yeah. So like and that's it. in teeth. I mean, or lack yeah. of teeth in some people's case. But uh, <laughs> some people like toes. I like the inner toe. <laughs> I like the foot toe. <laughs> You know where the where the web used to be before we got out of the water? Oh, I see. <laughs> That's what you like. <laughs> no, feet are disgusting. Yeah, that's a super gross. gross fetish. If any girl has like, if a girl has feet, <laughs> see you later. Okay, <laughs> get out of here, you fucking mongrel. Feet, cut know. them off. What do you need them for? Besides. Exactly. Cut off. You can walk on stubs. Look at those people in fucking uh, crutches. Those are just stubs. Well, no. Hover around hover advertisement around. made me think that I can go anywhere. Even the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I can go to the Grand Canyon. That if I was out. an amazing <laughs> shot. <laughs> the helicopter that was needed. Because that was before those like drawing things. Like, yeah. yeah. But I mean, like I have legs and I can't go to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I mean, it's because of money, but I... <laughs> <laughs> like if I had a hug around, physically able, I'm more than physically able yeah. to actually do it. Well, it's I like if I had financially, if I had erectile dysfunction and I started taking Viagra, I can all of a sudden play tennis. Yeah, it's like go swimming, take a bath in the forest. Yeah, whatever. In a cool. tub. <laughs> in a tub. Yeah. How did it get there? Nobody. No. Well, you dragged it there. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't want to know about a wayward tub. <laughs> We're just in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> like that still works with like running water. It's like like they took the house with them, but they're like, we don't really need this bathtub. <laughs> we'll leave the, the plumbing. <laughs> yeah. We'll leave the plumbing and maybe some uh, pay the some, bill every month. Some dude trying to fuck his old wife. We'll just uh, find it out here, and then he'll happen to be with a commercial crew <laughs> and they're gonna be like hey did you take any cialis and he's like i just so happened to have taken cialis yeah, that's why we're holding hands and they're gonna be like well we work for cialis <laughs> you're like you want to shoot a commercial <laughs> oh, okay okay yeah okay we can do that and then there's a commercial done just two that's people the... laying in a tub yeah I well just like two people in a tub that well, had no idea yeah. they were going to be and in a commercial the, that day. And they're the people that made the restaurant in a tub. And Sometimes life's, lives change What's in that? a flash. you ever seen the restaurant in a tub? I haven't had cable in like three years. It's in Kansas City. No, there's one on Barry Road. Really? I've never had it, but yeah. They have fried tacos, I guess. In a tub. Why is that a... Mm. It made it no bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it actually made it. Oh, there it went. Ooh. So it's a Mexican restaurant. No, it's just a fast food restaurant that happens to serve tacos. Mexican it's really food. weird. <laughs> it's really fucking picture. weird because they serve a bunch of shit. Was that like the first? Okay, one so ever. you're surprised that I haven't heard of that tiny ass little <laughs> shit. <show. laughs> a little bit because you live in Kansas City. I live in KCK. Well, yeah, I live in Kansas. We have so Sandwich so, Pimp. Uh, we have a, a place called Sandwich Pimp. <laughs> And what? <laughs> all of their sandwiches and drinks are named after hookers or pimps. That's awesome. It is pretty great. Sandwich. Pimp. Is... <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> this is I'm so cool. I live right down the street from this place. <laughs> so it's, it's a standalone restaurant. Yep, wow. and it's literally like a trailer. That's amazing. But they have uh, they got pimp juice, which is basically like blue raspberry with lemonade. It's pretty great. And then they got like. Uh, so he just like fuck stereotypes. I'm going all in on this shit. Exactly. <laughs> and if they I have their menu, like, like look up their menu because that's part of the fun. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's just goofing. Like he's just having fun with sandwiches. Good for him. There you go. Yeah, they got like a they got a pimp sandwich with gold teeth in it. It's pretty great. It, it was on the left hand side. I will never know. What where where on the uh, go go to there and then go to menu menu. On the side. We should have it. There you go. <laughs> Magic Don Juan, <laughs> Pimpin' Ken, Sally Stanford, the Happy Heidi the happy Fleiss, cheapo, <laughs> El cheapo. The Heidi Fleiss, Heidi Fleiss, That's the Happy great. Hooker. <laughs> Sally Stanford. That's the disgusting fuck? shit. <laughs> Mammy but it's Faye. delicious. Like yeah. they make good burgers. Throwing wow. that open like for <laughs> the Ike Turner, yeah, May West. The what is it? 
Mike Turner. Ike Turner. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. How is this not like a like a major chain restaurant yet? What? Sandwich pimp. And what's Lettuce funny? pimp yo sandwich. Sandwich pimp. Sandwich pimp. This is some killer. Sandwich pimp. This is some good advertisement for so, the sandwich. Yeah, no shit. We should have him on the podcast. It's I, as I mean, if you know what. If there's anybody that could, that we could call and have him on the podcast, it'd probably be the sandwich pimp. It's as if they're paying us to do it right now. So yeah. they, <laughs> they, uh, maybe you guys should go and check out the sandwich pimp. And here's the menu. And Buy I'm a right sandwich. down the street, so bring me some too. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon works but long hours. Let us pimp your sandwich. You might have to knock loud. He may be asleep. <laughs> but will. if he smells sandwich pimp, Brandon will be like, "That's the sandwich pimp," <laughs> and then that'll be a sandwich pimp commercial. Exactly. With you jerking off in a bathtub eating sandwich pimp. Oh well, I mean, in a forest. That is something that happens quite pretty often. Um. <laughs> I just like the idea you take baths. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I I have taken like three baths during the yeah. time that I've been with my woman, mm-hmm. and she has noticed that there is a there's a correlation between all the baths that I've taken. I'm always drunker than fuck. <laughs> Understandable. And I'm I'm getting very very sick, but I don't want to stand in. The, I need a shower. Yeah. But I don't want to stand in the shower. <laughs> so I just turn sick. the shower on, and then I plug the drain and sit. <laughs> And so it's just a sad rain pouring on my head as I slowly, slowly start to drown as the water starts going up. Three times since I met her. I do it about once a year. I get real fucked up and she's just like, oh no, I hear the bathroom. Here it is. Up. She's like downstairs like washing dishes. Oh, oh, it's coming. And he's sitting down, yeah, and, he's, he's, and the rain is going. The funniest part about that joke that you're telling right now is that she's doing dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but, Shots fired. Shots have been fired. Back to uh, sandwich. God damn! Pimp. Are you a tree? You're throwing shade. Ooh. Are you a tree <laughs> with ha- arms? Funny thing about sandwich, but nowhere on there says delivery at all. And so I asked them, I was like, do you guys deliver? And they're like, how far away do you live? And I'm just like, right down the street? <laughs> yeah, we deliver. <laughs> so I fucking like, love that so much. <laughs> Here's the pimp juice. Delivery of course we do. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, there it is. They must have added that. After only, only if you're like in the vicinity. <laughs> yeah, right down the, right down the street. <laughs> You know, this should be our I, new picture for our podcast. I think we'll get sued. <laughs> By sandwich pimp? <laughs> but we just like slightly change it. We just put blue Yeah, we, we get somebody to draw, like to trace it. <laughs> it's not sandwich pimp, it's I sandwich I used to camp. do art. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How well are you on tracing, Brandon? Oh, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> I convinced everybody I was a good artist for years by tracing. Mm. I even got a job as a graphic designer. Are you still? Are you still? Do, you do still I draw? still do art? Yeah, I, I I don't draw as much as I used to. I paint and I sculpt a lot. Nice, yeah. man. I kind of. Do you uh, have any like pictures or anything online that we could show right now, or just so we could like promote you more if you don't have any? I uh, I don't because you know, I you know what like we I should do. You know what we should do. On Facebook every now and then. You know what we should do then. We should. Uh, I should sit down and do a time lapse of you like drawing something, oh, and okay. painting it, or something like that. You uh-huh. should do a time lapse of John naked. That too. Like, I already have one of those. I saved it on my old computer, though. Okay. It's been a while. True. Been but a the, while. the pixels are not going to be as great. I have seen John pretty much naked many yeah. times. Je- oh, dude! <laughs> football. <laughs> Play football. Well, football, and then. Just in general. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> senior party or, or the Halloween cry. party was the best cry. one. I'm telling you, the Halloween party was the best party ever. It the really Tom Johnson's? Was, yep. you got goddamn right. First time I ever got drunk. Really? Yep. Yep. It was a, it was a night of many things. <laughs> John crying. <laughs> well, that happened a lot. Well, the funny thing was, and I might have told a little bit of this on the podcast last time, but I, I called up John and I'm like, call me or text me and like, three minutes okay and you're like okay what's it about i'm like don't fucking worry about it so i hang up the phone and i set it on the table where my parents can see and everything it's my parents are very strict they didn't let me go out or anything and then like three minutes go by and sure enough john texts me i'm like oh hey john clauser sent me a text message (laughs) can I come over and stay the night (laughs) and like that's not what you said at all and so i'm like let me ask my parents Hey, can I go stay the night at John's? 
And she's just like, you know, they're like, sure, why not? And I was like, all right, sweet. So I'm going to a party night. And it actually, I, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. we end up going to the party. Oh, yeah, yeah, we all have, we all have, uh, we all have costumes and stuff. John is wearing just a track suit. And He's like, a Russian. No, I wear track pants and a, and a fucking wife beater. And a wife beater. And I have a fucking black. I remember the and picture. A black bow tie on my <laughs> fucking deck. There's a. Get it right. And so <laughs> multiple times through the night, you're just like, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? And you're like, I'm wearing a man thong under this. That's it. And That's I'm just it. like, don't do this. <laughs> multiple times, finally you're like, fuck it, I'm doing it, and just Whoa! okay. <laughs> and then you go out to the party and. You seemed like you were having the greatest time in your life. And I was fucking wasted, dude. Then about, then about ten minutes later, you're like on my shoulder, crying, crying, and I'm just like, "I love you, buddy, but you're pretty much naked right now." And I'm just like, "I just, just, don't, just keep your, it's only, it's, keep your bottom it half away." It was like, it was like, Ugh. and then after that, I was fine. I was well, just, because I went, you but, got, you got re- your marriage proposal was rejected. See, I don't. To this day, I don't really remember this. Occurring. I remember seeing you on your knees, and then Melissa Clemens saying no, and then you will put your head in your hand. <laughs> you proposed to and her. And then you I sat. Guess. You sat in uh, Tara's mom's office chair. Did I really? In like the like the shoe room or wherever the fuck part it was off the kitchen, and you were just like, <sighs> <laughs> "What do I do now?" <laughs> Like, and I was like, John, it's going to be okay. But I was drunk for the first time in my life. I was like, John, it's going to be fucking awesome, you know? <laughs> We're going to be friends forever. We're going to make a podcast. <laughs> We're going to yeah. We're gonna talk about it. And there's going to be a lot of microphones yeah. and a lot of computers. I was like, John, this, this may be the last. Spend a lot of money on it. <laughs> John, this may be the last time I ever talk to you, but it's going to be okay. I was 16. 10 years ago, almost. Right. Good job, guys. And now we're here. Man. God damn. We've gotten old pretty quick. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it's. it's God, I mean, I you still look the same. I lost all my I fucking hair. Exact <laughs> same. I, I look really like an look old motherfucker. All the hairs just moved down here. Man, it must be nice. You know, it's not the terrible. It's not the worst thing. I, I wish I could grow a beard, beard. I want a beard. It's really easy. In fact, it's just like a lack of hygiene is all. It's not easy. <laughs> it's like, it's just some parts, part. some parts of your beard don't grow. I get advertisements on Facebook now of grow your beard out, and I was like, I don't need any fucking help. <laughs> Did you ever Google growing your beard out? Never. I, I've looked up things like grooming and stuff. That might be it. But yeah, it's like it. grow your beard out. Yeah. I don't need no fucking help. Do you put like, wax in or anything? Uh, my girl got me some. Uh, it's just like a beard oil kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I put it in every now and then. That's about it. And I got some beard wash. I feel I, like that can cause like uh, acne real quick if you keep, don't if you don't take care of it. Well, I have never had acne. Okay, like, other than like a couple of times. Fucking, I had a pimple in my head the other day, but that was the first one like this year. I don't. I don't ever. Damn get it, acne. I also don't get bitten God. by bugs. I don't. Especially you. Like you used to have some pretty bad acne. Yeah, you had yeah, yeah. fucking pizza face, huh? I have acne all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> We're fourteen hundred measures in. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you were a music person in uh, school. What's that mean? I was a music person. I, I can think. play guitar. Yeah, well, that's a little a, that's bit. something more than what I did. And I stopped playing like four years ago. I still tell people it's like, yeah, I've been playing for like ten years. <laughs> I'm a bit of a yeah. connoisseur. I can play. Uh, a few songs. <laughs> I just forgot most of the good ones. I know, like, all, of, I know like, all of Stain's greatest hits. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I know all of Stain's greatest hits. I can't even think of a Stain song. I know I used to do it's an impression. It's been a while. And it's been a while since, since I, I could hold my head up high. And it's been a while. But all that shit seems to disappear when I'm with you. We're going to get sued for this. <laughs> yep. That was more than three seconds. Aaron Lewis has got it. You send us a cease and desist. Yeah. Fucking sell out. You God. sold out, Aaron. Still so the thing is on. We just aren't staring at nothing. Yeah. Okay. Should have been sucking. I think the... The... Up the... the, the <laughs> Right. What's up? <laughs> Make it look like you're talking into your hand, like the hand is the mic. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's like I have this. That's my superpower. Yeah. Like I, it's we pretty have to useless. Start by lightning, and I 
I can just <laughs> amplify my voice slightly with my hand. Right. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. The only way, the only way you can use this is like if somebody doesn't hear you and then you're just like, what? <laughs> it's a little bit louder. <laughs> I put it so straight to, on your voice. It'd be good to find people. Right? Be like, like at Worlds of Fun or something. Yeah. No, instead I got this like weird superpower where I... Uh, don't have acne. I mean, well, there's that. But um, there's a small like percentage of people on the planet that can like feel polar north. Like they can feel sure the, the pole to the north. Yeah. And yeah. I, what's I it can feel like? like? I can always. It just feels like kind of like a, a. I don't know. It feels like kind of like I'm being pulled towards north. You are all the time, uh, so I can always tell which direction so I'm going. Hawaiian. You're a is pawn it, in it, you're a pawn well, in gravity the scheme. Hawa- I'm, well, the Hawaiians they they went out in little little fucking like hauled out canoes and then like found these islands out of nowhere. Yep, from like, Alaska. Yeah, from the fucking sky. <laughs> <laughs> we're sky people. We're the, we're the sky people. <laughs> we use the sky, you cunts. <laughs> From the sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Who knew? The <laughs> but apparently, like, some people are just more sensitive to it. Like, everybody can feel it, but some people are more sensitive to it. I can't fucking so, feel it. <laughs> I can always tell which... Who are you, man? <laughs> I can always tell which direction is north, which is that way. Oh, yeah, yeah I can't... I don't have any sense of that. Yeah, like, I can my, always tell. My grandparents and my pet dad is a farmer, and they're always like, this, this thing's on the east. It's like, you got to be more specific. I don't know anything about what you're talking about. And a lot of my job now is telling north and really? south and all that. So, yeah, put what, it to work. So, so do you actually ride on the train? Absolutely. And you drive it? Or you- uh, I'm, I haven't been certified as an engineer yet, but I will be pretty soon. So what's the process that has to go through doing that? Um, take a test. That's about really? it. Really? Yeah, it's pretty easy. So if I wanted to do it today, if I wanted to be like tomorrow, I want to be like if, a If you conductor. want to be a conductor, it's a week-long class. That's it. Fuck off. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's really? easy. Most it's of the trains just drive themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so I mean, you don't put coal in anymore, so you 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 don't have. No. That used to be the job. They're right? diesel engines now. Yeah. Like it's uh, you flip a, you prime it and then you flip a switch and then the train's on. Like the only thing you have to do is we can we have separate brakes and stuff. You have brakes for the actual locomotive, and then you have brakes for every train car that's behind it, and those are all controlled by one little handle, and that's that's pretty much it. So what are the said- rules on stopping? Is there actually any rules on stopping? Or rules on stopping is that it's gonna take a while. Yeah. <laughs> when you said brakes, I thought you were talking about like the cars <laughs> they get separate bra- like brakes from work. <laughs> like they just they get part of the ride off. <laughs> You get 10 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, basically what my job is, is I work in a yard. So um, there's a whole bunch of guys that are loading up a train. And then there's other tracks. And I get those other tracks set up for an outbound train. So uh, Kansas City Southern train will come in, pick up the train that I built, and then take it off to wherever it's supposed to what? go. Typically we work for like Canada and Mexico and Dallas and stuff like that. So we're sending out trains all over the place. What? That's crazy shit. Yeah. And, uh, but, I mean, as far as like me traveling on a train i pretty much go from north end to south end of this one yard hmm. and that's okay. about it i don't really how big is the yard about three miles okay yeah it's, it's pretty long but i mean i'm riding the train back and forth because uh you know you'll have typically what we have to do is you have to se- separate the size of cars so you have like 53 foot wells and then you got 40 foot wells mm-hmm. and they'll be interchanged all throughout you got to put 53s on the south end 40s on the north end so it's a whole bunch of switching and put that's, 50s on it and that's technically what i do is i'm a switchman is okay. i throw switches and make sure the trains going the way it's going make cuts join tr- cars together which is scary as fuck especially if they're coming in <laughs> if they're coming in hot like i get the fuck out of the way <laughs> <laughs> you, you really do yell it and like if you're out on the on the outside tracks like the main line what goes about by. A yeah. <laughs> but uh <laughs> killer awesome powers reference man, buddy. <laughs> But, like, uh, BNSF and stuff, we'll use our tracks and stuff like that. So you'll be, you'll be out in the middle of... <laughs> you'll be out in the near the main track, and right. you'll be like, hot fucking rail coming from the north end, and it's oh. going 70 miles per hour by you as you're standing there just, like, Fuck with this shit. much space clearing from you. Like, you're just standing there, and there's this train going by, and you're just like, all right, just going <laughs> to hope that nothing's sticking out and doesn't take my yeah. fucking head off. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. Fuck You've got to be shit. on your toes all the time. Yeah, 
it's pretty Fuck. crazy. You're in radio contact with your engineer at all times and pretty much anybody that's coming by. Like, I work with airplanes and I never want to work with a train. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this, like... You I know, work like, with sound equipment. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go outside. <laughs> well, yeah. let's put it this way. I used to work for cereal ingredients, yeah. and I fucking hated it. <laughs> so I would rather get hit by a train you are a lucky than work at that place anymore. Over there. Well, that was uh, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacksman. Yeah. Not a switchman, Apple Jacksman. Yeah, now I mix. Now, now, I, now I just drive trains. <laughs> I, ride trains. Awesome. I just make I'm cereal fine. cereal in my free time. <laughs> <laughs> I mix ingredients in my free time. Yeah, I got a killer. Uh, <laughs> can we can we talk about again how you used to you used to work for a porn you used to work for a porn website or a porn website? I worked for porn websites and make the hashtags for them. Yeah. That's I hilarious. pretty much made hashtags for them. Now it was called keywords back then, but um, basically, anytime you go on Pornhub or anything like that, or you know, X videos, I still X whenever I jerk off, I, I think about that. Every once in a while, I laugh. It's funny. Brandon, when I come, if I you think about the, you. If you check the tags on the video, there's a there's a chance that I was the one that typed those up. Aw, yeah. the, the roots You're of Brandon Black. You're with us everywhere. It's like <laughs> yeah, you've left a mark on almost seven, every like young seven, man's seven, life. The seven stripes. Of- well, let's just say I made minimum. I made about minimum wage on it mm-hmm. because you got paid sixteen cents per Stop scene. Yeah, you awesome. make, got paid sixteen per <laughs> cents per scene that you you saw, and like they would have like a uh, a thirty second clip, and it was like basically two seconds out of every five minutes of the video. So it was just a quick little synopsis. You kind of got to see what different positions there yeah. were. So if people were into doggy style, you had to put down doggy yeah. style. So then when they're searching doggy style, that video comes up, and. Uh, you know, so a video would pop up, and it'd have a screenshot of it for every few minutes, so you kind of get the general idea, and then they have a little video, which, fuck the video, you don't even see it after you get used to it. Um, you just watch these screenshots, and you're like, I pretty much know everything. Yeah. And if it's a famous porn star, you got to know their name. Yeah. So I've done a lot of research. <laughs> 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 Baby is poor fucking one. <laughs> no, I lived with my I lived with my parents cool. at this time, so they're off doing work and shit, and I'm literally staring at porn <laughs> as my job. And you live the dream, <laughs> for, uh, minus the pay, like for a while. Well, and here's the problem though. For and I'm not gonna say that it affects me anymore, but for a long time it ruined porn for me. <laughs> yeah, because you'd think that i'd get mostly good porn no nope. you know but 90 percent of the porn that people look at is about what or 90 percent of the porn that's out there is about 10 percent of what people actually yeah. watch oh. like <laughs> like a lot of porn shit porn there's a lot of just really really fucked up shit guys a lot of huge dick <laughs> on dick yeah and like I could, I could filter some of it but a lot of times it just got real graphic <laughs> real quick. Example. Example. Um, <sighs> What's one that's stapled in there? That's stapled in that brain of yours. It would be. It was this very large blonde woman and BBW. There. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> BB um, Big beautiful beautiful beautiful. Let's woman. say that there was uh, feces involved. Oh, and wow. it seemed like it was very warm in the area that they were at because there was it was just uh, it seemed very sticky i can describe <laughs> that video as being very <laughs> sticky and like i wasn't there but i felt sticky <laughs> yes as you should yeah as you should that's and a pretty good description the, there was a very small man that may or may not have had his face in a place where he shouldn't have been at that time I'll leave it at that. Poop Mountain. Well, it would have been if he wasn't eating it all. <laughs> ah, yeah! We did it! <laughs> Fuck Book <laughs> Corner! <laughs> this is Book Corner! Bruce yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Yeah, this is what it should be. It should be like, Brandon's like, porn corner. Yeah, you just call it every week and you tell a description of like one time when I was working at this company. Thing is, I just worked online. I literally like applied for a job and they were like, yeah, we outsource uh, jobs. And it's actually Amazon. Amazon outsources oh, a whole of bunch of jobs. Amazon. Sure. 
Amazon, so, Amazon porn. It's basically slave labor if you aren't willing to work pretty hard at it. Like, because 16 cents per scene. So you can do like 10 scenes and get paid a dollar. Yeah. Like, yeah. that sucks. Uh, but I got so good at it, I could do like a scene in like 30 seconds. So I was getting minimum wage, nine ten dollars but I was doing it in my free time. Yeah. And so I really had to dedicate their fucking life to it. Yeah. And there's some people that make pretty good money doing it. I mean, the more you do, the They're more so you get desensitized. paid. They're so desensitized. But. I, I, you know, it was a good job, but like I said, for a couple of years, it kind of ruined porn for me. And now every now and then I go, go on the computer and I'm just like, oh no, I know where the dark corners of this are. <laughs> <laughs> and it just ruins everything about it. Like, Boner kill. Yeah, it was less of a sucking easily. sound and more of like a gargling drowning <laughs> sound. <laughs> <laughs> like in like i want to quote i want to quote aaron on this one it's like what it's like listening to a gargoyle drown <laughs> it's like you know cause oh. he, was, he was once like describing like how it was like watching this girl give a blow job oh yeah <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> i know i think that was the the grapefruit video remember some guy came up to me a comedian the other day came up to me i think it was a black comic and he was like, Naylor, you know the grapefruit video? And I was like, you're goddamn right I do. <laughs> and he's like, what? Have you seen the grapefruit video? No. Oh. Well, you pull that up. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. We'll pull beautiful. it up and we'll talk a little bit. Aaron okay. and I will talk a little bit. I feel like this is going to be a long podcast because we don't know how many, because we only know measures. We don't know time. <laughs> and it's only 10 o'clock. Yeah. So. Oh, it's only like five minutes till. Oh, so. we've been, yeah, we've been at it for an hour. Do you happen to be anywhere? Just home. Not really. No. Yeah. Other one. Hey. Other one. Oof. We'll show this and we'll be done. <laughs> Great fruit blood. Yeah, Angel T is yeah, that first one. Hell yeah. Oh, how's that? We'll yeah, just show this. That's one. fine. Okay. How does this not have a million views? <laughs> well I well it's Why would there be any dislikes on this? If you're one of the one hundred and what's it, sixty seven? Sixty seven. Fuck you. Find a better uh, explaining video of grapefruit blowjobs. And then come back to us. Come back to us. Fucking asshole. So Aaron. Yeah. Dude, we fucking did it. We're we're there. I'm I'm (laughs) I am finally where I feel like we are we where we should be. Good. With the audio equipment. I'm glad you're finally happy. It took you forever. If we can only get two more cameras up, we could like have I could sit get here angles. And like, if I could sit here and like be able to like yeah. try with a tricaster, cool. that'd be the only other thing I could add. But that'd be like I would have to bring someone on at that point. I'd feel yeah. like I don't want to do it. Like a real person. That takes a lot. Yeah. And I would I would rather spend that money on actually getting a real studio. Yeah. So with her just make this a studio should i just i should i could just do just that buy a bunch of foam and put it on the walls <laughs> studio <laughs> just like fake foam yeah. like <laughs> fake foam now the audience will know whether or not i took a number one or a number two <laughs> yeah because these, micro- these microphones are just as like sensitive as the yeti was yeah we heard you pee I took a giant shit <laughs> quick shit just came out like water all right this is a. Uh... Oh no, I have seen this. Now, this is my bonus technique. She's so nice, too. Normally, you can only get this technique in one of it's my classes. It's bad that I like this. I want to share what? this Like, I'm kind of curious if she have a pretty good one. Does she have a Lucky Rabbit's foot I totally, on her I necklace? I totally forgot about this fucking video. <laughs> I just feel like she would make me feel good about the size of mine, because she's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to spoil it. You want to make sure you get the ruby red sweeter yeah. it's easier if you are allergic to grapefruit or can't use a grapefruit for your medication you can always use a large navel orange she's so nice navel she's just so considerate the grapefruit is low temperature all you have to do is put it in warm water do not microwave it do not boil it you'll burn this day off <laughs> all you need to do is boil it gotta soften that baby up a little bit mm. <laughs> you gotta juice him up a little bit now, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the navel there's two navels to the grapefruit. That's the belly button. Once that's where it was born out of. <laughs> that's why women have it. That's, that's where babies stone. come from, yeah. <laughs> Kyle looks why. Of that navel off. Now, all this that you're doing, he would not see any of this preparation because 
I'm going to say that. Dude, place. she paid people to help her make this. It's amazing. I should have helped her make this. There was enough demand for her to make this video because she's such a pro. What kills me is up until this point, it seems yeah, like it's a pretty normal video. Yeah. It's like she's just making a grapefruit yeah. form. <laughs> okay, this is why, would, why would you do that? But, you know, I'm game. Put cottage cheese in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. That would make it way better. Cottage cheese is delicious. Cottage cheese is disgusting, you son of a bitch. All you do is make a nice hole in the middle of the grapefruit. I'm already hard. Yeah, it's so, uh, it just the anticipation. <laughs> I'm already I know what's coming. I mean, well. Innuendo. The flesh. It's just, that's my favorite part of this video. It's just a fucking grapefruit. <laughs> What are you going to do with that? Is it going to burn and all that other stuff? You do know they make flavored glue, but you don't have to do all of this. It's a grapefruit, though. It's a grapefruit. It's just it's exotic. A grapefruit. It's from Mother Nature, motherfucker. Yeah. Some head. Some head. Love her. You have the grapefruit already prepared under the bed. Smell the citrus in the air. No, you smell like a straight up fucking grapefruit. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you make breakfast? <laughs> okay, here it goes. It sounds like kids trying to make cat sounds. <laughs> oh, there she goes. The transformation is complete. <laughs> Remember, fucking amazing, dude! And no, there's no like gag or any tears. She's a pro. <laughs> oh, he knows what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Is your hand a flubber? <laughs> R.I.P. Robin Williams. <laughs> We've done it. Fuck me. Fucking angel, man. Oh God! Gotta love Angel. Thank you, Angel. Well, I'm kind of curious what it'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know my girlfriend is allergic to grapefruit, so that ain't gonna happen. Well, she needs a large not navel orange, right? Or a yeah. small navel orange. <laughs> yeah, <well. laughs> hey guys, so, how big are your dicks? <clears throat> tiny, tiny, tiny. So tiny. I want to say thank you so much, Brandon, for being on. Yeah, not a problem. This is fun. awesome. We missed yeah. you. We've I know you, you do. do. Please come back again. Anytime you want, honestly. Anytime. If you want to make the trek. All right, I'll be you here actually know how to get to Weston. I'll be yeah. here next week and then the week after. Okay. Look forward. And <laughs> Got it. Don't lie to the people. Don't lie. No. I'm Don't lie to yourself when you watch this later. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Aaron, uh, I mean, do you have any plugs or anything like that? Um, Thursday, this coming Thursday, the 22nd, Dave Stone at uh, uh, Davies Uptown. Me. Opening for Dave Stone, um, October sixth. Uh, oh shit! What was that place we did the show? Um, Uptown. Nope. Arthur. Opera House. Opera House. Opera House. Couple of kick-ass ladies from uh, L.A. are doing a show, and I'm hosting it. October eighth is the first show at the Mockingbird, that bar that Dan's opening that nice. we're gonna do shit at. Mockingbird. Mockingbird. <laughs> Bird. Mockingbird. Um. Take it away. I think um, that's it. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, like us on Facebook. Tell us what kind of fruit Facebook you use to give a blowjob. Right? Tell us. Right. We want to know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. Um, what if they like hollowed out a, a banana and it fit perfectly? Awesome. <laughs> Gotta be a thick banana. <laughs> and I'd also like to plug that I have weekends off, and any of my friends that actually do want to hang out after eight <laughs> fucking years of being graduated, it'd be great to see you every now and then. God damn it! <laughs> Besides, yeah. to do a fucking podcast. Yeah, assholes. <laughs> yeah, where are you? That is. Oh, weird. you're all you're all married, and have families, and have a successful job. Hey, dude, you ride trains. Hey. I do. I do. Hey, buddy, come no, on. I, I made it. I made it. You're all right. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you guys on episode 94. 172. Thank you guys so much. Adios. Thank you, Laverl Spencer. Muchachos and muchachas. What does that mean? Friends. 
Girls, girls and girls with tattoos. <laughs> I know what it means. Ba, 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 ba. We did it. All right, we did it. Hold on. Oof, man, what a sweat party. Oh, man. You're just sweating. It's I was like, dude, tonight's not that bad. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Did we get most of the... No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't.